Hey guys, so today I've installed Format 4 KitKat here on both two devices. Some have said it's not official, well, it is the official Samsung firmware that they've been working on, obviously, uh, because it is running here with TouchWiz, so I will have links in the description down below if you want to check out these phones a little bit more. Uh, I also made separate review videos. I, w I, I want to compare Snapdragon 600 that you do get inside of the Galaxy S4 here uh, that I actually have uh, broken there, yeah, I know. Uh, I want to compare it against speed here to the Snapdragon 800 that you do get inside of the Galaxy Note 3 with the latest firmware on both, uh, which is Android 4.4 KitKat. You can see it's total white there at the top. You can see that it's quicker to unlock here uh, on both devices uh, compared to earlier firmwares. Uh, you can also see if I go into settings and let's say I just would like to go down here uh, to about device, 4.4.2 KitKat. And I'm just gonna load it up here as well on this little device. So 2.3 gigahertz quad core on the Note 3 versus the uh, um, the uh, 1.9 gigahertz quad inside of the Galaxy S4. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff, interesting stuff. Which one will be loading up quicker here? That's a good question. So I'm just gonna do a restart here actually. You see the menus and stuff is a little bit different on these two devices. But you can definitely see the boot down screen there seems to be a little bit quicker. Um, okay, the Galaxy Note 3, uh, it seems to definitely be quicker here. Um, a little bit more playful, of course, with the S Pen. You can see there on the S text. Th that menu or that animation lags still. Doesn't lag here on the Galaxy S4. Pretty interesting, I think. Okay, so it's up and running right now uh, on the uh, Galaxy Note 3. Um, then again, we have to wait here a little bit longer there to get the uh, the Galaxy Note or the Galaxy S4 up and running. So, I mean, they're not a super big difference, but you can clearly see that there is a difference. Um, and I also been going over the top features and top things in the latest official 44 KitKat. Uh, and one of those new additions definitely is that if I would start to play music, see if I can find the music player here. So yeah, I have links down below if you want to check out these phones more. Uh, let's see here if I can, let's see if I can find, uh, where is my music app? I'm getting so confused now. I, I mean, there's so many apps. This is, that's the problem with these big devices. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to find certain stuff. Where is that music app? You probably see it too. Must be annoying to look at. There we go, music. Uh, one very, very cool thing in this new edition is if I play music here from uh, Samsung's own uh, music app and I go to lock screen, you can see that it goes in full screen. Uh, so you get a full screen view here of the album art, which I gotta say is pretty cool. It's pretty happy actually. Yeah, I know I'm emo. I don't have any music, real music on my phone because I don't actually use that. I actually use an iPod touch fifth generation to listen to music. Uh, but yeah, I uh, wanted to check out this and the speed. So now you do know. So um, yeah, have a great day.